right, we're finishing up the second week of the legislative session. Uh, the first three weeks really focuses on sub-appropriation committees. That's where we have seven different types of sub-appropriation committees that review the budgets of the different departments of our state and then also take uh, appropriation requests from, from those entities and other stakeholders that may be involved in social services or the judiciary or infrastructure. And, and we vet those and then create recommendations for appropriation budgets to the Executive Appropriations Committee. So we've been working on that for two weeks now. We've got another week of that at least. Uh, in addition, it's been a big week. We've passed a, a few big bills. Uh, one I'd like to talk about is HB 215, which I'm sure you've heard a lot about. And I plan on holding a town hall here in the next week or so, that, and would love to get all your input and explain it further. But the crux of this bill is it sets up a scholarship program for kids that may want to seek individualized educational opportunities. It's important to note that that scholarship amount only provides for about 5,000 scholarships statewide. And so the impact on public education is very minimal. And in fact, we continue to support public education and will support its growth. But in the bill also that sometimes gets a little bit overlooked was almost a $200 million appropriation for teacher salary increases, which further supports uh, the notion that we are looking to fund kids first in education and then teachers who are at the front line of that education. So that's the big one. Another education type related bill I'm working on is a resolution to celebrate Halloween on the last Friday of October. It's a somewhat controversial bill surprisingly. They're very heated and passionate people on both sides of this and so it's, it's actually kind of fun. And it passed out of committee this week. It'll go to the Senate floor and we'll see how it goes from there.